Welcome. In front of me is an Amazfit uh, Active Edge, and I'll go for unboxing of this smartwatch and a quick look at it. Let's just get straight into it. There we go. Okay, peeling that off. Let's put it on a different display looking thing. Let's put it up. Hopefully I'm pressing the correct button for that and I am. Come on, you gave me a vibration. Can you boot up then? No, oh, there we go. And in here we'll have manual along with our charging. Let's take a look at that. And it's magnetic, so that's pretty good. So it should easily attach to the back. There we go. Okay, you only get to the side. And I do want to point out uh, right off the bat, the strap right here just feels kind of tough, not very fun thing. Might be digging into your arms uh, if you have petty ones like me, so that wouldn't be very comfortable. Uh, something that you might want to maybe swap out and uh, in terms of swapping out it looks like it's held by these bolts right here which is a weird thing but it could be just an aesthetic who knows um now uh, before i go into the specs uh, let's talk about the price tag and this device right now comes at a price tag of about 120 us dollars that would include a tax as well uh, it looks like uh, on their own website it's on sale. To be more precise, uh, in PLN, which uh, it was called, co well, it costed 549 PLN, and it's on a 150 PLN discount. So that, like I said, equates to about 120 uh, dollars. Now let's find the specs for this on their website and get straight into it. So, um, in terms of pairing, we are looking at Bluetooth 5.0 right here. Uh, we don't have any kind of mic, uh, nor speakers built in on this smartwatch. Um, we have a 370 million power battery, a lithium uh, ion. Supposed uh, work time is 16 days standby. Oh wait, no, not standby. Uh, normal usage, sorry. Uh, for a moment I get confused that I'm reading this in Polish and translating this. And I started reading something with ST and I'm thinking standby. Anyway, um, charging time is at about two hours. The dimension of the shop itself are at 22 millimeters and uh, compatible systems. We're basically almost at the end, so there's not much more. Uh, compatible systems are Android 7 uh, and up. And in terms of iOS, we're looking at 14 and up. And that's about it. So that's very vague in terms of uh, systems right here. In terms of the operating system running on this, this is not looking like a Android, which obviously we shouldn't be expecting Android. This has way too of an insane battery life for Android being at 16 days of uh, standard usage. This is running their proprietary system, which obviously limits you in terms of what kind of applications you can get on here, if any, uh, as the kind of proprietary systems don't really have access to third-party applications like Wear OS would. So something to keep in mind. And I do want to prop the battery percentage, 69. Nice. Um, so yeah. Now, that being said, uh, to finish this off, uh, just uh, after running through the specs, it's a budget watch um, with a typical aesthetic of a watch, but it just feels a little bit cheap right here in terms of the, uh, maybe not the build. The build seems solid, but the materials used, they won't feel as good as some, some more, I guess, premium watches and even cheaper ones. I think in terms of materials used, I would prefer something like uh, the, what is it, the Xiaomi Band, 
these come with a more nice nice feeling uh, silicone or whatever they use so this just feels a little bit harsh and uh, the build quality right here is a bit on a chunky side so might not be up to everyone's uh, preference but I do want to point out one one other thing I do like the strap itself as it is just a typical watch strap with a uh, buckle right here and you just lop it through here and additionally it does have a little kind of teeth or whatever here in the, in the little loop that catch catch the belt so it won't be slipping out of here so that's pretty good uh, but like i said all in all it feels budget and obviously the price is on a low end at 100 and about 20 bucks uh, it's not much so with that being said obviously it's a fitness based device so if you're looking for one i'm pretty sure this is a maze fit so it should be up to snuff as that's primarily what they're catering for and uh, with that being said this basically concludes my look at the device so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching